Now, as the global community continues to commemorate World Interfaith Harmony Week, our Global Peace Foundation Nigeria, JPFN, has joined their counterparts to tax faith based religious leaders on peace building efforts, mutual understanding as one united family under God and the country. Now, they made a call at the 2024 World Interfaith Harmony Week with the team celebrating unity and diversity, building bridges of harmony in Cardinal State. The country director, uh, GPFN, Reverend John uh, Joseph Ayub, said selfish political leaders have known power in unity, sowing seeds of discord over time to disunite the people based on religion, ethnicity, tribe, and other differences. Cross the different divide today in Kaduna State to remind them of the importance of this day so that we can continue to promote togetherness. And that's good that followers will see a living example of harmony, tolerance, respect, and togetherness. Then we will change the story. Why are we living as enemies instead of being friends? We've seen that the poverty we are all facing is facing all of us, Muslims and Christians, and even people of other faith. The, lack of the bad governance we are facing is confronting all of us, Christians and Muslims, and people of other faith. The bad education and everything, the corruption in our country, do not have any divide. So why should we be dividing ourselves instead of coming together to confront corruption, coming together to confront bad governance, coming together to confront poverty, coming together to promote development? If we do that, then we will have a better country. But as until we reach that goal, that people will look, see each other as brothers, members of one family under God, and we continue to live. Also, both uh, Christian and Islamic clerics say that there is a need to respect one religion and believes uh, to have a peaceful society, adding that they must preach peace, work peace, and also tolerance in various places for people to follow in Kadun in Nigeria at large. Christians and Muslims, we need to have a robust relationship. We need to have a proper understanding that will lead to deeper appreciation in the way we understand each other's faith improving our faith, improving our relationship, ensuring peace and harmony. And that can only be done where we have a remarkable relationship that exists between the adherents of the two major faiths in our life. The religion of one another will equally get boosted. The way we react to the happenings of our, in our society today will also be different. This meeting, I know definitely, whatever happens to any member of the human family, regardless of any difference, will be felt by each and sundry, by all and sundry. Uh, therefore, it is a very important gathering is to promote peaceful coexistence. And we can only achieve that, as you know, by respecting one another by upholding the fundamental human rights of all and sundry, regardless of any social difference. Some of the participants expressed delight, saying promoting harmony and peaceful coexistence will give room for economic development for women to be treated equally with justice and equity fairness. Uh, we are here together with uh, our Muslim counterparts to discuss issues of common interest, issues that will help to advance the peace of the world, and more particularly the peace of, um, of Kaduna State, on how Muslims and Christians can be brothers and sisters to themselves, and then try to see the need to live together in peace and harmony. Practice peace and not just talk about it like this that foster harmony um, peaceful coexistence would actually gives give space a room for more economic development for women the first people that the conflicts happen to so I think um, gatherings like this should also include a lot of women so that um, uh, we, women should be heard um, should be given the chance to speak because they are, all, they are actually even the first respondents to violence. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.